zip. Like magic, my face is traveling across the world through interstellar space to reach your computer. I arrive there fully formed, like the goddesses who were born fully formed from their father's heads, or a giant seashell. We reach across space to one another looking for connection. And even across years of friendship or physical distance, often we find it. But it's not quite the same magic as when, zip, your eyes meet a friend's across the room. And without saying anything, you each know what the other is thinking. Connection. Or, zip, your hand is drawn almost magnetically to his shoulder blades, his to your hair. Just a brief touch. A confirmation that you are still there, still listening. Connection. Or, zip, eye contact again, this time asking, would you like to dance? Yes. Your body moves forward without a word, your heart singing yes. Your bodies meet to tell a story together, to go for a walk, spin so fast you fall over, lift each other off the ground. Connection. Even sometimes, zip, a text message rushing through the airwaves to greet your phone. Now only sometimes, mind, but sometimes they make you smile, or laugh, or cry. Connection. That zip eye contact, that zip hand brushing yours, those zip hearts beating in sync, that zip connection. You forget how to be alone. It's been too long. You are out of practice. So you move in a frenzy from place to place, circling, circling. You must keep yourself busy. You're afraid to stop. You're afraid if you slow down, the loneliness will creep back in. You reach out and feel leaves between your fingers, the strong trunk of a tree behind your back, the sun on your face. And sometimes it is enough, but other times your body aches for connection. You feel it in your bones. You want to talk. You want to touch. You want to know beyond a shred of doubt that you are loved. You need to be reminded. The fear builds in your chest and your jaw, and the pressure weighs down your shoulders, makes your feet drag as you walk. You want to cry out, but you are afraid no one will hear you if you do. But hear this. Slow down. Take a breath. Take a step. Feel movement arc through your body. Let the weight slide from your shoulders. As lightness spreads through your limbs, reach them as far as they will go. See your movement reflected around you. The trees reach their limbs in welcome. The wind brushes against your face. There is rough bark beneath your fingers and dirt under your feet and grass in your hair and the landscape is humming. You are alive. You are alive. Dance the loneliness away. Dance until there is no way to tell where your body ends and the earth begins. Dance until you know you are not alone, until you can see that you are moving and we are moving and the earth is moving, and that is enough. Dance until you know that you are loved. Feel it in your body. Feel it in your bones. Let the movement remind you. Let it wash over you like a wave. Let it sweep all that fear out with the tide. And when it's gone, all that's left will be just this. Just dance. Layers of surviving. Without anyone noticing, I began to move. Without anyone watching, I began to twist. I began to turn as if I were a restless cloth blowing next to other restless cloths. Unwinding thoughts hold me back, hold me back from revealing a future. Back and forth, the understanding of past becomes present. Back then, it didn't seem so dishonest. How dishonest the thought to wonder if they'll ever reach a resting place, or if each dream, each whisper tangled within a network, the network of spineless jumble tethered to a search-seeking right direction, directions to leap 
a direction that breaks boundaries above the stillness we've all began long before. Long before I came along, this existed in time, in space. Whatever this is will eventually fade, perhaps even vanish. Yet, are we afraid? Are we afraid of what lies ahead? Do we, do I, have the strength? to push out fear from within, to remind myself to trust, trust without anyone even noticing. If we let our troubles melt off the electric wire connection of our bones, allow them to dip into dirt, to rest until the rains come to wash us into muddy rivers. Muddy rivers where we coat our feet and dance stories onto white canvas and hang them to dry in afternoon sunlight. Catch the light like a sleepy kitten welcoming the heaviness of eyelids. Can I remember to recall our bodies absent of knots, braided and twined and clean with burdens piled under layers of surviving? We live in isolation. Only ourselves. Living breathing, reaching for something beyond us, something in another self. We have found so many points to fill, spots and sparks and texts and hearts, whirlpools of noise in the void overlapping, torn between self and selves. We search. We grow. We reach. We discover. Each self becoming selves, cascading into each other, pinpricks of unity in each breath. We garden our souls into something that, like ivy, will reach out and intertwine with another. A connection, starbursts and falls back into just ourself. Waves, waves, waves. Beauty, come back. An ocean keeps us apart. I melt into myself, pretending not to feel. Can I grow, reach, fly to you so far away? Can something come and sweep me away? Can I put myself into a bottle and send myself to you, fighting through wave after wave so I may be seen, heard, loved? It's all I want. The journey was not easy. Though... I think I may have met someone's eyes. I think I may have seen a smile. I could live in that smile. It's so hard to see smiles these days. Babies see smiles. They see them through the eyes. They notice all the subtleties. Babies see smiles a mile away. These are all the thoughts I have while I wait to meet you, to see that familiar face. Hello, old friend. I have missed you. I have longed for you. Let us ride together on a wave back home. It's so hard to find hope when you're surrounded by darkness. Hard to picture a light in a sky that is starless. But if it's only empty when you open your eyes, Dance in all of the space till the sun starts to rise. And soon after the daylight replaces the night, you'll feel hopeful again. Things will soon be all right. Make sure that you spread this new joy that you found. Help someone else dance and get their feet off the ground. Hi. How are you? Hi there. Just seeing how you are. Can we be friends? 
I'm reaching out to you because I want to connect. This is what I have to say. This is me. I am bold. I am strong. I am a little bit shy. I'm freeing myself like a flower, like the wind. I'm powerful. Just look at me and you'll see. I'm reaching out to you so we can mold and melt our thoughts, ideas, and feelings together. Hop on my back. I'll carry you through. I'm patient with you. Now our stories have crossed paths. My body in motion is speaking to you. We connect to come back to ourselves. I am more whole because of this, because of you. I can go back knowing we had this and I am changed because of it. I thank you for your strength, your positivity, and your wisdom. Shall we do this again? Here we go. It's a new day. Another day filled with uncertainty. Another day of missing people. Another day with too much time on my hands. So I'll take it step by step. I'll learn how to move through isolation, how to reach out from a distance, how to stay in touch, how to connect with others. Days fill up with phone calls, Zoom calls, long walks, adventures, and exploring new places. Suddenly I don't have enough time. I'm reconnecting with old friends. Broken friendships are healed. Families grow stronger and closer through loss. I want more time. More time to talk, more time to listen, more time to dance in wide open spaces, more time to get lost, more time to explore, more time with you, more time to have too much time, but it's gone. Just as quickly as I tried to fill it up, I'm searching for a way to get it back, but I can't, I can't grip on it. I can't hold it in my arms the way I hold you. So I'll use it. I'll use it to build, I'll use it to make things last. I'll use it to connect with others, to listen, to learn, to understand, to teach, to love. I'll use it to dance, to run, and I'll fill the space around me with love. Through laughter and tears, through heartaches and joy, I'll not take a single breath, person, relationship, or moment for granted. Inhale, exhale, I'll breathe deeply and enjoy this. The wisest gardeners know that a vibrant garden is not chiefly the result of what seeds you plant, but of what connections. How you conduct the symphony of sun and shade and wind and rain and bugs and the local skunk. Take the classic three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Squash blankets the ground, suppressing weeds so that the other two may grow. The beans climb on the corn and fix nitrogen in the soil so that the other two may grow. The corn fills our bellies so that we may grow. Each is a blessing on its own, but together they sound a resonant chord of flourishing and abundance. A proton and a neutron are held together in the nucleus of an atom with a passion that powers the sun. Yet this embrace would come to nothing if not for something so tiny that it is not considered to occupy space. So far away, it were as Pluto to our sun. So capricious, you cannot ask where it is. So insubstantial, trillions weigh less than a breath. Yet something which binds atoms so tightly as to create everything. This frenetic soiree of particles gives rise to earth, water, fire, air, and our cells. The human body has been estimated to contain two to three million blood cells at a time. The average blood cell will, in its lifetime, travel roughly 10,000 miles. My blood, in my lifetime, by itself could reach to the edge of the solar system and back a quarter million times, yet it would, by itself, never see the sunset, never dangle its toes in the water, never buy milk. When you breathe in a few trillion electrons, your diaphragm made of diaphragm cells pulls it in through your nose made of nose cells, down your throat made of throat cells, into your lungs made of lung cells, so your blood made of blood cells can carry oxygen made of oxygen to your body made of body cells your heart made of heart cells, and your brain made of brain cells, where it is mixed with glucose and water to create dreams and thoughts and ideas. 
A complex alchemy of chemistry and electricity carries these down your nerves made of nerve cells, to your hands made of hand cells, and your mouth made of mouth cells, where a complex alchemy of sound and thought and movement creates songs and emails and dances and hugs. And the miracle of miracles is not that something so impossibly unlikely as us could exist, but that it could speak to itself as we can speak to ourselves. With our eyes and our voices and our hands, we have windows and mirrors to see through the minds of another. With our rules and our music and our dance, we can vibe to the self-same beat. With our weddings and our parties and our worships, we weave stories of joy together. And as much with our pains and our sufferings and our things we hide, we can find company with one another. And with our laundry and our wailing children and our crutching grandparents, we have something in common with everyone in the world. There was a time when each cell saw to itself only. Each traveled their 10,000 miles according only to itself and what it could see. From this primordial soup arose mushrooms, plants, animals, the sun, the stars, Rome, the Mona Lisa, the wheel, Barishnikov, Beyonce, your family and your sweetheart and your history, and I marvel, as many before me have and many after will, at the unfathomable cosmic choreography that gives rise to a human being. And my mind trembles and my heart longs to think what we would be if we could make between us harmonies like those that made us. How do we return to the place that used to hold sounds? Laughter echoing through the stairwell, off-key karaoke, just loud enough to annoy the neighbors. Latin music blaring out of headphones while soft rock lulls from the computer. To the place that still holds friendships, standing on landings, talking till 2 a.m., Christmas lights hanging in patterns on the walls, the call for dinner time as it's passed from one room to the next. To the place where the connections were so easy, easy to make and harder to break. To the place where we cried and we danced and we sang and we laughed and we talked and we listened. How do we return when the world looks and sounds and feels so different? All I know is that we must. Graze, nudge, pat, tap, touch. Each moment growing like waves gathering momentum as they move toward the shore. Brush, hug, hold, lift. Balancing precariously. Is this all right? Collide, caress, cuddle, embrace. Finding each other again. After all this time, graze, nudge, pat, tap, touch, brush, hug, hold, lift, collide, caress, cuddle, embrace.